Okay, today we are talking about how to vacuum a new recovery cylinder. So safety first, don't perform any HVAC work unless you've had a proper training. Remember to wear proper PPE and read, understand, and follow the manufacturer's operating instructions. So here's the equipment we're using in this video, the major equipment. Uh, we're using a new recovery tank or recovery cylinder here from uh, Vever for 65 bucks. Uh, vacuum pump, 12 CFM, one horsepower, $169. Micron gauge from Supply House from 174. So first thing with the brand new vacuum pump, you need to fill it up with vacuum pump oil. This one came with oil. And when you have a brand new recovery cylinder like this, you need to pull a vacuum on it. And so vacuum pump oil lubricates and cleans your vacuum pump. And you also use it as a flushing oil. So when the oil gets dirty or cloudy, you would drain out the old oil and then you would pour some of the oil in while you're draining some of it out and it would flush out the vacuum pump. I just removed the little oil fill cap, put a funnel, and I'm gonna use the vacuum pump oil that came with the vacuum pump. You'll also need a vacuum hose with the proper connectors to connect to the tank and to the vacuum pump. In this video, I just use a yellow hose off of my digital manifold gauge set. But a good rule of thumb when you vacuum anything really, whether you're evacuating a recovery tank or a HVAC system, the shorter and larger your vacuum hoses are, the quicker and easier it will be to pull a vacuum on the system or on a recovery tank. You don't want to overfill the oil level in your vacuum pump. So monitor the oil level in the sight glass here as you fill it up with oil. But you also don't want to run the vacuum pump without any oil or if the oil is too low. And the micron gauge that you see here will attach that to the tank on one of the ports and that'll tell us what our vacuum is. I want to get it down to add or below 500 microns really as low as I can with this vacuum pump. And then on the other port is where we'll hook up the yellow uh, vacuum hose and that will connect to the vacuum pump. Turn on our battery powered micron gauge as a screen that lights up. Woo! It also comes with a handy 45 degree adapter. Makes it easier to attach to the tank, as you see here. Now we'll go ahead and attach our vacuum hose to the other port on the tank and then to the vacuum pump.
Remember to move the exhaust cap before you start it up. I'm going to turn the vacuum pump on. Then we'll open our tank valves and start to pull the vacuum. Ideally, I want to get it as low as I can, but at least 500 microns or lower. Okay, we're all done. We'll close the valves on the tank, shut off the vacuum pump, and this recovery cylinder is ready to recover refrigerant out of an HVAC system. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.